Hi, Bitches and Curls. Welcome back for another video. And this is a Saturday chill. I am cleaning up. The boys are asleep. So I decided to do a little self care right now and do some face masks. Now, I decided I wanted to show you guys my stash of charcoal masks, my retexturizing mask my sleeping mask and my hydrating mask. Now I do have microdermabrasions and exfoliants. I'll do that in another video if you guys let me know. Those are really good and really important for resurfacing the skin so I can definitely do that for you. I do have my skincare routine, the updated version of that. I'll link it over here so you guys can check it out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's talk in terms of, let's start off with the charcoal mask. These are the masks that's going to get, pull things out. Now, active charcoal is an ingredient in face mask that allows you to pull out whiteheads and blackheads and all the impurities out of your skin. This is a great way to unclog your pores as well. So I do have a few. I do have high end and some low end. So I am hitting everybody's pockets today. And you know, sometimes I do have some luxury face masks, but I do have some affordable ones from the drugstore that are really, really good. I can get into sheet masks because there are some really great sheet masks as well. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see that of all of my sheet masks. But these are the ones before Gen Beauty because I think I got, I did get some more face masks and everything. So I will show you what's additional to my collection because I have not done that haul yet. But Let's start off with my charcoal mask. Now these are ones that are in my rotation. I have tried all three of these. Now I'm going to show you the affordable one that's really good and I keep it all the time. This is probably my third tube of this. This is the Derma E Purifying 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask. It is purely magnetic. I like this because this is a cruelty free and this is an eco-ethical brand, so you know you are doing something good to the earth when you purchase from Derma E, but I really do like this, and it has activated charcoal. It comes in, it's, it contains 1.7 ounces. I think that this is really, really good. If you want to start off with a good charcoal mask to pull out those blackheads on your nose, it, your makeup will look so much better, but not only your makeup, but your skin will look so much better. I do a charcoal mask at least once a week, at least, but I do try to do it twice a week or every other day, especially if you're wearing a lot of makeup. This is the type of mask that you want to get just to pull everything out. Make sure everything is, is out of those pores and you will, um, with and with an activated charcoal mask or something to pull the impurities out, you will even notice your skin looks better without makeup and you'll also notice that you'll probably have less breakouts. But this is from Derma E. The next one I'm going to talk about is the one I'm going to put on today. This one's really good. This is the Dermalogica Charcoal Rescue Mask. This one is really good. Now, I like this one because it's almost like a tube of toothpaste. So, you know that you're getting every inch out of this. And this is 2.5 ounces. Now, they are sold at the drugstore now, but they are still pricey. It's not as inexpensive as the Derma E, but this one is a really good one. Now, let me tell you something about this one. This one is very, very strong. It has a very strong scent as well. It must contain sulfur because it smells like it. Okay, but it is so good. It has vol is volcanic ash in this. Sea silt, bamboo extract, and alpha hydroxy acids. So it duels as exfoliation. That's the other thing. This one does two things. So it not only pulls out the impurities, but this one you can exfoliate with. So this one is really good. My skin looks very radiant after this one and it's not even considered a, well, I guess being exfoliator, it's a radiant one. So this is a dual action one. I really do enjoy this one as well. And then this one is from Mary Kay. This is new to me. Um, this is the Clear Proof Deep Cleansing Charcoal Mask. I did like this a lot, but uh, I used this maybe about twice. It's nice. This one contains four ounces, so you do get a lot of more. You get twice the product of this one, and you get four times the product, well, two times the amount in this one, and almost two times in this one since it's 2.5, but 
I do like this one. I don't have a definitive answer on this one as of yet, just because I feel like I can't remember what I thought about that. I know that I liked it, but not in detail where I can tell you all. This one's by Smooth Naturals. Now this is a powder that turns into a paste. It has bentonite clay. I actually have the Aztec uh, clay and I have it in a different area because I can use it on my hair as well. But this one also pulls out impurities. It's really good. It's great for, this one has Moroccan lava clay, Rasul clay, uh, Alma fruit powder and banana fruit extract with banana bentonite clay. I really do enjoy this one. This one actually retexturizes the skin, but not like the Origins one. But this one is really, really good. It is a powder. It's a little bit more messy, but it definitely works. And this one contains, um, how many ounces is this? This is a lot of product. This one is four ounces. So if you want something that maybe won't spill or if you want to take this, this is a powder. I really do enjoy this. I need to use this one again. I really like that one. This one is unlike any mask that I have. This is the Origins Old Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. This one is really good for retexturize. If you have a lot of texture, this is the type of mask that you want to get. It is so, so good. It's pink and y'all, it smells so good. Origins is known for really good mask. It contains 3.4 ounces. I definitely feel like it's worth the money. A little bit goes a long way. I've had this for a while. I need to get through this. It's 24 months. You, this lasts you for 24 months and y'all, you won't be going through this really fast. I feel like that not only does it pull out the impurities, but it retexturizes the skin. It's something in here that definitely helps with retexturizing your skin. So this one is unlike any other mask that I have. That's why I have to keep it in my routine. So let's move on to the hydrating mask. A lot of times these tend to maybe dry out the skin just because it's pulling everything out. My hydrating mask is what I use to put things, put the nourishment and the moisturization back into my skin. After I use a charcoal mask, I wanna replenish my skin back with some hydration. This is the Skin Hydrating Mask by Dermalogica. I do like this a lot. It's very like gel type of texture. Uh, let me see if I can show you. It's it's just a hydrating gel. This one is very thin. This one I would I, you could use definitely during the day. There are some night sleeping masks, which means that it is a deep penetration that needs to sit on your skin and really soak in those night masks. But this one is a day mask you can use during the day. And it smells really good. It smells like cucumber. So this is the Skin Hydrating Mask by Dermalogica. The next one is a pricey one, but it is good. This is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment Mask. And I really do like this a lot. This one really hydrates a little bit, goes a long way. I did have the Thirsty Mud Cleanser. That one is really good in conjunction with this one. If you have dry, dry, dry skin, this one is a great one for you. Okay, so the next mask that I have are all sleeping masks. So I'm gonna show you an affordable one. I actually have two affordable ones. Yes, two affordable ones and more. two more that are on the pricey side. So the first one that's affordable, this is the Pixie Beauty Sleep. This is a rich nourishing treatment. I really like this one. This one's great for travel just because it has the pump. I really do enjoy this and I love Pixie. Pixie is very affordable in terms of skincare. So if you don't wanna break the bank, head on over and try some of Pixie's skincare products. They're really great complexion products, I feel like. Another brand that I really like for complexion and for skincare is Derma E again. This is the hydrating night cream. I've talked about this in a favorites video and even in a current favorites that's like over like periods of time. This one is really good. Now I'm gonna tell you, if you really wanna boost your hydration, put an oil in conjunction with your night mask. It will do such a difference, but this one is so good and it is super rich. These are very rich and thick. I really do enjoy Derma E. They do have customized lines within the brand of Derma E just to customize. It's to better fit your skincare needs. That's what I was trying to say, sorry. 
The next one is from Caring. This one is from a doctor. So this one is the Reconstructive Night Cream. Now, this is a new one. I'm just showing you all this, but I haven't even opened this, so I can't tell you about it. But it really doesn't have a scent, which I tend to sometimes like. But um, I like the Divine Oil by L'Occitane, so I'll throw that in with this. Let me know if you guys want a review on any of the ones that I have told you like if you want me to go in depth definitely let me know I can do that for you all but this is a night cream as well this is a brand new one this is the Laneige water sleeping mask I believe I've talked about this but I really do like this this contains 2.3 ounces this is really good again if you have extremely dry skin this is something that you're really going to like the packaging is so beautiful i love it it just reminds you of water and it does have a water science technology within it so if you want something that feels luxurious but still uh, you can pick this up i believe at target and they are sold at sephora so let me get into my face mask right now. I am going to cleanse my face and then put on the Dermalogica. This is so good. I've done a lot this morning. So the first thing I wanna do is definitely cleanse my skin. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just pat dry my skin. I'm not gonna wipe. You never wanna wipe your skin anyway, but pat dry. Okay, so the first thing is that you want to put on your mask on a fresh, like fresh, clean skin. It does help for it to be wet. Uh, so all I'm gonna do is splash a little water on my face and then put on the mask. It just, to me, allows it to have some type of glideability. And another tip is if you wanna feel like extra, like spa-ish in terms of the day, or night when you're putting on your mask, put it on with a foundation brush. This one is from Morphe. It does not have to be expensive. I know that e.l.f. carries one as well, but this is a really good way just to get an even application as well. So, and it keeps you from using your fingers if you don't want to use, you know, if you don't want it to be contaminated, if you have to go into a jar, using a clean brush to pull out the product and apply it to your skin is another great way. You can do this like foundation if you want to, but just so I don't go back into the product, you can always put it back on your hand, but I am going to take the brush and just wipe it and cover my the product with it. I'm just using my mirror. And I work from the center outwards, so the place that has the most blackheads is usually your nose. So I'm gonna put some. And I get breakouts like sometimes or when a product doesn't work well, I can tell right in my T-zone. So the place that I wanna work first is here. And I Don't forget to get around. I did a skincare analysis with Derma E at Gen Beauty. Let me know if you guys want me to share the results, the full results. But I will tell you that they did tell me to make sure that I'm exfoliating even around the hairline because fine lines and wrinkles happen around that way, around that area as well and i tend to get blackheads right here too and my pores are like really large like right under my eye right there but that's as close as i'm gonna get to my eye i'm not gonna you can always grab more product this is an easy way not to waste product too because you're using the brush and start off with a little bit and then you know get a glob but that way you don't put it on your hand and you're like oh I have to go back in I think painting like I said it gives you an even amount now I'm gonna put this all over my face sometimes you don't I actually tend to go along the jawline and on the neck too because I tend to get when Aunt Flo comes or sometimes I will get a breakout because I know that I didn't clean good enough around my jawline 
when I have a lot of makeup on. So just make sure you go around. And this is what I'll do when I get around my lips because I want to get around my mouth. Just make sure you close your mouth. This stuff is strong. And I connect it because makeup goes here too. A lot of times that highlight powder goes right along here. Make sure you get around here. So I can already feel this getting tight. It says to leave it on for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to rinse it off. Now, when I apply the water, you'll see me actually exfoliating and going in circular motions. You definitely want to do that so you can exfoliate the skin at the same time. So now it's about time for this mask to come off. It is dry. I did use a little bit of water and started, but I forgot that I didn't show you guys what I did. Of course, it's gonna move the mask around. And I'm gonna wipe in upward motions, okay? You don't want to pull down. You always want to go up. We're trying to go against gravity here, you know? Making sure I get everything completely off. Okay, so now we're gonna put a, you can go in with your skincare if you want to, but I would actually want to put on a hydrating mask because my skin uh, tint is a little bit dry. I'm gonna go in with the Glam Glow and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually take the end and I'm gonna take out enough. You can also do this. You can put it in the lid and work from the lid. I would say with face masks, make sure you're using them as directed. Some you can do overnight, but if it tells you to take it off at a certain time, there's a reason. There are some that if I know the ingredients, but for the most part, remember the people that formulated these masks. If they tell you to leave it on, they tell you to take it off at a certain time, some you can leave on a little bit longer, but if it doesn't say it's a sleeping mask, I try not to sleep in that mask just because it might be something active in it that needs to come off my skin. The exfoliator, the reason why my skin is pink is because it really circulated the blood. A lot of times exfoliators will do that too, which is great. Immediately after using my brush, I just go ahead and wash it off so it's ready to go the next time. And I can leave this one because I designated this one for my skincare routines. I can just leave it right in the container with the other things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to let this hydration mask sit on my skin a little bit longer and I'm going to clean up. That's basically the routine for the day. Unclogging the pores and then putting moisture back into the skin is the way to go and it's the best way to get Clear skin really fast. Thanks so much for watching definitely put down what you're using are your favorite face mask Let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. I love trying new skincare. Y'all know that about me Thanks so much for watching beautiful ones, and I'll see you in the next video Bye. -bye.